Hello guys, Patron here with a quick programming guide. If you're using the Homebrew DSMX module by John Perkel for the Tyrannus X9D+. This module gives you full integration, allowing you to use the programming features in your radio. For example, model and receiver memory, range check, binding through the menu, and all at a lower latency since you won't have to convert from PPM to DSMX. It's DSMX right from the radio. And with six channels of control, it will work with just about all bind and flies by eFlight. I also use it with lemon and orange receivers, which are DSMX compatible. By the way, the Spectrum module is DSM2, not DSMX. Once you've installed your module, you can go through the standard programming procedures. I'll use this USMX Timber as an example since it uses all six channels of the module. Once you have your module installed, you'll want to prep your radio. Turn your radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Hold down menu to enter the radio setup menu. Scroll to the bottom and go to the default channel order and make sure that's set to T-A-E-R. There are different uh, configurations that you can select, uh, but T-A-E-R is the default for Spectrum. Once you have that, press exit twice. Then you're going to want to tap menu, select an empty slot, hold down enter, create model, tap enter, and you can select a standard airplane, so tap enter. Has your model got an engine? Our model does have an engine, so tap page. Has your model got ailerons? Yes. And they are assigned to channel 2, so that is correct. Tap page. Has your model got flaps? This model does have flaps, so you can select, tap enter, select yes. It has uh, one channel for the flaps. It happens to be channel six, and that is correct. You tap enter, and then tap page. Has your model got air brakes? No, this model does not have air brakes. You can tap page again. Which is the tail configuration on your model? Now, our setup does have the elevator on channel three and the rudder on channel four, so this is correct. You can go ahead and tap page. And here in the ready to go, we have all our controls, throttle on one, ailerons on two, flaps on six, elevator on three, and rudder on four. The only thing we don't have is channel five for safe select control. But we can set that up in the programming menu. So once you confirm that, just Long press enter, and there goes our model. You want to tap page and name your model. Press exit. You can scroll down to model image. You can select one of the stock images in your Tyrannus, or you can create a custom image. As long as you follow the image constraints, your image must be a 4-bit grayscale bitmap image with the dimensions of 64 by 32 pixels. I'm going to be using a custom image that I downloaded from 
www.airrc.com. They have well over 2,000 model images. I'll leave a link in the description. You're going to want to scroll down to internal RF. Tap enter. Turn that off. Scroll down to external RF. Tap enter. And select DSM-2. Scroll over. Tap enter, and you're going to want to select DSMX. Tap page till you get to inputs. You're going to want to scroll down to input 5. This is going to be our safe select channel. So tap enter, tap enter again, and we'll name this safe. Enter. It'll scroll down to source. Tap enter. And I'm going to use switch F, which is a two position switch and in a convenient location for me. You can select any switch that you wish. Just make sure you remember which one it is. So easiest thing to do is once it's highlighted and flashing, flick the chan the, the switch that you want this channel to operate on. Tap enter. Next we'll set our weight to negative 50. And our offset to 50. Tap exit, tap exit again. Next we'll select input 6, tap enter. We'll name this our flap channel. Scroll down, again tap enter, once it's highlighted select the switch that you want to operate this channel. I'm going to be using switch A, which is a three position switch, which will allow me flaps off, flaps midway, and flaps full deflection. Tap enter. The weight is going to be negative 100. No offset. Tap exit twice. Tap page, and here in your mixer, we'll scroll down to channel 5. We'll name this mix safe as well. The source will be input safe, the weight 100, 
offset of zero. Tap exit twice. And channel six should be our flap, and it is. We'll select that. Edit. Flap is correct. The source will name. Scroll down to your inputs. Input a flap. Tap exit twice. Tap page to outputs. Spectrum receivers are expecting to see a pulse width range from 1100 to 1900 microseconds with a typical center at 1500. FRSky operates in a range typically from 1000 to 2000 microseconds, also with a 1500 microsecond center. For standard servos, this deviation might not be a problem. Most standard case style servos can handle 125% travel. But on the UMX linear servos, you will most certainly damage or even destroy the servo. Here in the outputs page, you can set the correct pulse width range for your DSMX receiver. We will set our outputs to 80% of FR Sky's range, which will closely match the correct range for spectrum type receivers. Channel 1, which is our throttle, select enter, scroll over, select your minimum, and you're going to want to bring that up to 80% and do that to all of your channels 1 through 6. Now we can tap exit, tap exit once more. We can tap page. And here we'll scroll down. You can just press positive to get to the bottom. And select bind. Now we can bind our transmitter to our receiver or UMX plane. Tap enter and begin the binding process. Now that your receiver is bound to your radio, you can check to see if the control surfaces are operating in the correct direction. Okay, so after testing, it looks like the aileron, rudder, and flaps are operating in the reverse direction. You can press page till you get to outputs. Here, we're gonna correct the direction of travel. So you can scroll down to ailerons, which is channel two, tap enter. Scroll over to the arrow. It will indicate direction on the top of the screen. Tap enter and reverse. 
tap exit. We can scroll down to the rudder, which is channel four. Tap enter. Scroll over to the arrow. It also indicates direction. Tap enter and reverse that. Tap exit. Scroll down to flaps, which is channel six. Tap enter. Scroll over to direction again. Have the arrow pointing in the opposite direction. Tap enter and tap exit. and our surfaces are traveling in the correct direction. Happy flying.